In the National World War II Museum's U.S. Freedom Pavilion, you can get a close-up look at the types of equipment used in the war, like tanks and planes. It took a lot of materials, like metal and rubber, to make war vehicles, aircrafts, ships, and ammunition too. And kids during the war helped to collect the material that were needed to make ammunition and equipment. Here with me is Mr. Jim Bryant, who as a kid spent most of his time collecting materials that could be used in the war. Well, there was a lot going on in the home front and it was all in support of our, our effort uh, to, to win the war, both in Europe and in the Pacific. One of the things that, that the, the entire country did uh, was to gather scrap, uh, metal, tin, and, and, and bring it and, and give it to uh, the government. And they would then take that and build wings of some of these airplanes you see here. Or uh, some of the tanks, a lot of metal there. So to, to, to understand, it was a, a, an effort not only with the, from the men that were in the uniform, both in Europe and in the Pacific, but every family back home. So I've heard you say scrapping a few times. What exactly does that mean? Scrapping means gathering all kinds of different things and turning them into things that could be used in the war effort. So scrapping is a lot like what we call recycling. Uh, a little bit, but it, it's, it's using all the things that you find and redoing things to make something like this gas mask. One tire, 12 gas masks. What about this big tank? How much metal would be used for that? 18 tons of steel to put that thing together. 18 tons, that is a lot of metal. So you scrapped other things besides metal and rubber, correct? Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can remember mother, when she finished cooking the bacon in the morning, pouring the grease into a tin can. And you can take grease, that's what that was, cooking grease, and turning, in, and turning it into nitroglycerin. So what did you exactly do with nitroglycerin? We made bombs out of it. <laughs> big, strong, heavy bombs that did an awful lot of destruction. So did everybody across the country scrap or was it just your neighborhood? No, everybody across the country scrapped. I have a scrapbook here all about children scrapping. It's about a boy named Billy McShall from Zimmerman, Louisiana. He went to school in a one-room schoolhouse with only 11 other classmates. Well, Billy was actually chosen to attend the launch of a Liberty ship here in New Orleans to represent his tiny school that won a statewide scrap contest. So Billy traveled to New Orleans for the first time and was treated to an inspection tour of the city in a Jeep and see the SS Leonidas Polk launch. So Billy got into a Jeep just like this one? Yes. Why don't you give it a shot? Hop in. Thank you so much for taking me to the museum. It has been wonderful experiencing what a kid my age would go through during the war. Thanks to you. You're very welcome. Come back to see us. It's a great, great museum. <laughs>